So one of the things that we decided we needed to add to this cutter was a stop. Um, that was something that we've had a few people tell us about and it was difficult to try to figure out how to put a stop in without jamming the glass in between the stop and the blades. And uh, needless to say, we, we ran into quite a few issues. But we finally come up with something that we believe is going to work and be beneficial. This little piece on the side here, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it, has a uh, rod that is connected to the back of the, of the actual base. And there's a set screw on there that not only allows the slide bar or the pin going to the left to go up and down, but also so that you can adjust the length of the cut that you're wanting to make uh, from, you know, a quarter of an inch to however long, you know, two inches or whatever uh, to the end. So you do that with one little Allen wrench, which we would supply, and you'd be able to have a stop placed on your, uh, for your glass. So I'm going to show you cutting it and then showing you what it looks like after. As you can see, it's not jamming up and it's cutting straight. If you had a bigger dimension piece, then you could adjust the arm up so that you have it touching the top of the glass. But pretty much it's a set and forget type of scenario. And we're going to take it out. I also put a piece of uh, shelf liner on the bottom that's why you don't hear the tinging noise of it falling on the ground or onto the bottom of the box. Um, I'm going to give you the side view here of the cuts so that you can see what they look like. And as you can see they are uniform in length and squareness. No rough edges, no chips or anything like that. I think it's pretty cool. Here's the liner that it's just a basic, you know, rubber type of liner that I put at the bottom of the box. And this is one of the boxes that we were talking about that if you wanted as a set, you know, separate purchase you could make. Um, I even added some feet at the bottom. They kind of fit into my my grid here so that the box doesn't really move at all, which is kind of helpful as well. Now another modification we made, and this you have to take into account, this is a test shield that we have here, so ignore the messiness of it, but the principle behind it is instead of having screw holes with thumb screws, now we're going to have slots where they can the shield can easily go in and come out uh, to clean it as well as to adjust this this uh, pin in here for the uh, stop settings and so basically all you'll be doing is unscrewing just a little bit of the four set screws that are on two on either side and then you can just pull it away so that you can you know wipe down your shield um, as well as turn around and actually adjust the stop so when you look at the stop, this is a 532nd Allen wrench, and basically all you're doing is you're going to tighten and loosen and from here, which is going to adjust your stop up and down or forward and reverse, depending upon the size that you're looking for. You need to tighten, loosen that up a little bit more. And that way there you can adjust the not only the, the length, but also if you have a really big piece of glass, you can adjust the height so that it could touch it. Potentially it might not touch that if it was set too low. So then once you find where you want it to be, you would then turn around and tie it down. So you'd measure your glass for a quarter of an inch, bring it in, place it where you want it to be on the blades, and then set your you're set to, to that particular location. 
Um, once you've done that, then you could just tighten it and be good to go. If you needed it to be higher, you could bring it in higher if the glass was taller, if that's something you needed to do. Or maybe you want it to be longer, then you could bring this out and then set it and tighten it. And so when the glass comes back out to that level, push it down a little bit more, you'd be hitting a longer piece of glass stop and uh, continue on with your cuttings as such. Just going to try a few other pieces of glass, a little bit bigger, kind of get you the idea of what, uh, what I'm talking about here. So even the thicker pieces aren't going to get jammed up in here. Because this piece was too big, it jammed, and I had to stop and adjust the stopper. In this picture, you see at the top uneven pieces. That's not using the stop and getting uniform cuts, but just being different lengths. At the bottom is with the stop, uniform cuts, uniform length across the, across the entire uh, five pieces. In this picture, you see the result of the thicker cut pieces, uniform in, in size and length. Thanks for watching. I hope this demonstration was helpful. For more information, here's our contact information and a link to the product page. Hope you have a great day. Thanks again.